So I'm Miranda Satterthwaite, the Antarctic Academy Director here at the International Antarctic Centre. This will be my fourth Aurora mission over the Antarctic Circle and I'm really pleased to be part of it. I've been on two NASA SOFIA missions and one of them was more for public outreach and one of them was really looking at science. Tonight we're Aurora hunting, so we're going to be looking obviously, depending on the solar weather, at, at the Aurora. Antarctica is the coldest, driest, probably highest atmosphere from the ground that you can get and so it has very little light pollution in the winter it's dark for four months of the year so you can see things that you can't see anywhere else on the world so that's why Antarctica is the place to do astronomy. Hi there. And away we go, the next stars we see will be real ones hopefully. Tonight, and uh, we look forward to providing service to you. Well, my name is Ian Griffith, and tonight I'm the uh, lead astronomer on the flight that's heading into the Southern Auroral Zone. Tonight, this will be my tenth flight into the um, Southern Auroral Zone, and I've also got a couple into the north. Um, it's really exciting. We don't know what we're going to see, and the auroral conditions look quite exciting at the moment. Well, um, we, we, we always find these flights um, out of New Zealand, at least, um, close to the equinoxes because there's a, a phenomenon called the russell mcferrin effect which has the magnetic fields of the Earth and the Sun linked and that gives us more auroras, so there's a higher chance of seeing a good aurora. But tonight we're taking off, heading off to the southeast after takeoff and then basically trying to get close to a place called the Magnetic Midnight, basically which is where we expect the activity to be. Um, once we get there, um, we'll be looking out the windows all the way down looking for activity and then there's a liaison between the crew who are obviously flying the plane and the photographers like me who are trying to see where the aurora is and we hopefully get the plane into a sweet spot where we can see the aurora on both sides of the plane and that is always really exciting. I'm Stephen Voss, I'm one of the photographers on board. Um, um, I've been an enthusiastic uh, I guess astronomer and astro photographer for many years. I've flown on uh, all of the previous Southern Aurora flights. So the Aurora is always there, it just comes down to how bright and intense it is. We can get ourselves to that location, pretty much guaranteed. What we can't guarantee is how intense the display will be. On land here in the Southern New Zealand, um, you're really dependent on the Aurora having to be a little bit more um, extreme for it to um, encroach on our shores. So we really only see it when it's more intense but on the aircraft we can go where we need to be and of course we don't have cloud to worry about that's all below us so we can negate some of those things which are a bit more variable if you're trying to trying to view from from land